Hi guys, um, I am getting ready for bed and just before going to bed I like have kind of started this new routine It's taken me a few days, but I'm into it now where I line up all of my supplements that I'm taking for immune system and immune support um, right before so I thought that today I will be taking my supplements and showing them to you guys so you guys have an idea about what kinds of things I have been putting in my body to kind of help support my immune system so number one thing is I start off with is vitamin C can you guys see yeah so basically I'm taking about two grams of vitamin C one quick note about vitamin C to remember is that if you go over what your body is able to handle in terms of a dose, a threshold dose, then you will get loose bowels and that is one of the side effects of having too much vitamin C in your body. Next up is one of my favorite things, vitamin D. I love vitamin D because it is used for so many things in the body um, and it's good for your mood and also your immune system. And one of the important things to remember about vitamin D is that it is fat soluble. So that means that to enhance the absorption of vitamin D, we need to be consuming something that is healthy and that is high in healthy fats, like an avocado or an olive oil or a handful of raw nuts. However, however, you can also purchase a supplement of vitamin D that says emulsified on it, which means that that supplement has already been dissolved in fat. And so it enhances the absorption of the vitamin D. Okay, next up is vitamin B12, I, another one of my favorites. I've actually been working on boosting my vitamin B12 levels for the past four months and I've been doing it through injections. Um, I have been getting the higher dosing of the B12 injections. I've noticed a huge difference in my mood, in my energy, and the clarity of my thoughts as well. Um, there are different, several different forms of vitamin B12. There's cyanocobalamin, there's methylcobalamin, there's a few other ones. I have a video on B12 that I'll post soon if, I, if it's not on there already. Um, methylcobalamin is one of the most absorbable forms of vitamin B12, so that is something else that you want to watch out for. It's the type of the vitamin B12. Okay, and now on this last plate, as you guys can see, there it is. I have a supplement form of reishi mushroom extract, and then these guys, I like to double dose on them. Um, th these guys have vitamin C, astragalus, ginseng, echinacea, andrographis, and zinc in them, um, which is an amazing combination uh, for immune health, basically. Okay, so that's kind of what I've been been doing supplement-wise, um, but there's a lot of other things that I have also been doing to kind of help make sure that I'm feeling rested and that my body's well supported. And one of them is focusing on high quality sleep. Um, sleep hygiene is something that is so important. What you do before you go to bed is really important to the kind of quality of sleep that you end up getting. I've been noticing that when I am doing some yoga, um, meditation, or deep breathing, um, or even some stretches before going to bed, I feel like my my sleep um, is more of a higher quality and I feel like I'm rested, more rested when I wake up versus if I'm looking at electronics or um, have any kind of light before I go to bed. Other things like making sure like the room you sleep in is as dark as can be so there's absolutely no light that's coming into the room also helps with the melatonin secretion in the brain um, and then other things other than the sleep is focusing on diet so you guys may have seen but we are trying to incorporate as many 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 vegetables and fruits into our diet and we're trying to stay away from um, processed foods and sugars and things that don't work so well for the immune system um, we've also been going on um, nature walks which I have found to be very very helpful while trying as much as possible to maintain the social distan distancing aspect of it um, but being around nature helps reduce your cortisol levels and it's good for your overall mental health and your well-being so i love being in nature and so the weather has been pretty good um, recently so we've been trying to take advantage of that so i hope you guys found this helpful i just wanted to share some of the things that we've been doing um, if you are planning to introduce anything new to your health regimen especially in terms of supplementation um, make sure that you can cons consult with a licensed healthcare practitioner with a licensed healthcare practitioner because they'll be able to guide you towards what is best for your health um, and what is best for you. And I hope you guys found this useful. Please feel free to share this with as many people as you can because I want everybody to benefit. And I hope you guys are all staying healthy and staying safe. And I'll probably do some more videos. So let me know. Message me. Let me know what you guys want. What kind of content you all want.
and I hope you guys are all staying healthy and staying safe and um, I'll probably be doing some more videos so feel free to message me DM me the topic that you guys want me to talk about and I will be putting some videos together soon